What is up? All right, it's declutter time again. We're doing these once a month here on my channel and it's kind of wild. I was doing the math and I'm like, I don't know exactly how many categories I'm gonna do, but this is the third one I've done in this new like 2022 series. And we're easily gonna do one throughout the whole year and it might spill into the next year, we'll see. But today's topic is eyeshadow palettes. This is one I think is so like weirdly fun to watch because I think we're all guilty of buying lots of eyeshadow palettes. They're the thing for me that like can sometimes, depending, really excite me, but then I don't end up reaching for a lot of them as much as I get something new or my tastes change. So for me, just as kind of a, I was gonna say PSA, but like an FYI, if you are new to my channel, I really don't wear like bold or super bright or colorful eyeshadow looks. So that is something you're not gonna see a lot of that. But I also just in general have not worn a lot of eyeshadow lately. Like I've just kind of, and I don't know that that's like a permanent thing, but just for now, I haven't really been feeling like it. I've really been liking just the no eyeshadow look. So that means that a lot of the palettes I reach for if I do are super neutral, super like close to my skin tone type shades. So that's a lot of what I'm gonna keep. And another thing I've thought a lot about lately is those big palettes I have, I really don't reach for a lot. And so I have a feeling a lot of those are gonna go, I have so many like single shadows you guys that I've had for years. And at this point I'm like, I couldn't tell you the last time I bought like single individual shadows that are like, un, you know, depotted, which means all of those are very, very, very old. Like I haven't bought any since my daughter was born and she is three and a half, gonna be four. Well, okay, fine, in the summer, but still <laughs> like already there. But so I just feel like a lot of those are five, six, seven years old. And while I do think eyeshadow does last a long time, at a certain point, I'm not reaching for any of them. So I think it might be time to pass those on too. So let me bring you in closer. I hope you've got some coffee. Need to grab mine. <laughs> and uh, let's talk about eyeshadow. So we're not gonna be here for long because the lighting's a little weird. We'll move to a better lit area, but this is where I keep my eyeshadow palettes. I have quite a few of other ones and other places. Oh, geez, Louise, please don't tell me it broke. Okay, good, that's like one of my favorite eyeshadow little quads ever. Anyway, I've got quite a few other ones and other places that I've pulled together, so we're gonna get all of this out and go through it together. All right, we're just gonna kind of stop there because I've got a whole bunch more we'll do after, but we'll just kind of do this in two little lumps in this video just because I physically can't fit them all. Hey, you can see me. Let's start with ones I feel like are kind of easy to get rid of. One that is just really, really old, but I love is the Persona Identity Palette. It's just beautiful. It's got colors I use a decent amount, but like I said, I've had this a long time and they did send me their new identity palette. The thing that gives me pause is I feel like the actual quality of the old one is better than the new one. Like what am I supposed to do here? I really do, let's just kind of compare. So that's the old, that's the new. They're a little different. I mean, it's not crazy, but I do think there's a slight difference in the quality. So it gives me pause. I'm like, do I get rid of the old one? But I also just, this one's so old, I really probably shouldn't be using it anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Probably keep this one. I am gonna have like a little maybe pile. This is one that I really liked for a while. It's from By Terry, they're Terry Blee Paris but I just don't reach for it anymore. And it makes me so sad because the colors, again, are so beautiful, but I just don't. So that one I'm going to get rid of and I'm not even sure that you can get your hands on anymore. Here's a favorite. I'm definitely gonna keep the ColourPop Everyday Faves. I love this palette. I've talked about it a lot recently and I just found out they just launched a new palette from Ulta that is called like Desert Skies and it's a lot more like warm toned. But if you like a good neutral palette, this is one of my favorites. It's around $20. And of course, Ulta has sales all the time, so you could probably get it on sale. So definitely keeping. This Patrick Ta one I do enjoy, and it's still pretty new to me. This is called the Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. 
And I mean, talk about an absolutely gorgeous neutral palette, very warm. I don't know that this is like something that everyone has to have yet because as I've used it, I do think it's nice, but I don't know that I feel that it's like so much better leap by leaps and bounds than other brands. So, but I do enjoy it. So definitely gonna keep. Also don't make fun of my nails. I desperately need to get them redone. <laughs> and I feel like, do you feel like in the winter, your nails, well, first of all, my nails are definitely more brittle, but these are dipped powder. So they're technically my real nails. It's just a really thick, I mean, the way it is, it's a really like thick, strong dip powder that they put on it but I just feel like my nails are growing so fast as well that I can typically wait like three plus weeks to get them redone. And by the two week mark, I was like, oh my gosh, these are so like outgrown, but it's, I just think, I don't know, maybe it's pregnancy too. I keep like forgetting and discounting the fact that I am in my third trimester and that might be a piece of it. Like it's just growing fast. Okay, nothing to do with anything, but don't make fun of my nails. <laughs> okay, this one, I loved the quality of this Mented Cosmetics palette but the shades are just too deep for the way that I do my eyeshadow. So that is one thing, it doesn't work for me. This would work for a lot of people though. I love the mirror and I love the matte black packaging and the quality is really, really good. So definitely worth looking at, but this particular palette, this is in just the everyday eyeshadow palette is what it says. So anyway, really like the quality though. This is one I really like and I feel like not a lot of people talk about it anymore and I really enjoy it. It's from Maybelline, it's the Nudes of New York palette and I bought it when I did that Gigi Hadid like recreating her supermodel look video you know what I mean I can leave below if you want to see it because there were a lot of good drugstore things she was using but this was one of them and I absolutely think this palette is so so good so definitely going to keep this one little unsung hero at the drugstore there and speaking of unsung heroes another favorite of mine is this elf new classics palette this has been a favorite for a couple years now and it still is a favorite it's just the shimmers are beautiful, the mattes are beautiful, they're easy to blend. This is up there in my like favorite palettes list, so definitely, definitely keeping this. This one I thought was good, but I'm gonna get rid of because again, y'all know I'm not a big colorful palette person. It's the e.l.f. Opposites Attract one. This one is actually pretty new to me, but like I said, I just know myself. I don't really reach for these, so I, I'd rather pass it on to someone that will be super excited about this because I do think the quality of these e.l.f. palettes are really good. Y'all know I love the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl palette. It's been a newer favorite of mine for a little while now. And I have mentioned before that it really doesn't have a crazy strong smell. So if that is something you're always concerned about with like these Too Faced kind of scented palettes, this the smell is very, very slight. So I wouldn't let that deter you. I think this palette is so beautiful. So definitely keeping. I'm gonna pass these two on because I just don't reach for them. This is the Revlon So Fierce. This is a really actually good quad. But see, this is where I'm torn though because I actually do really like that shade there. It's such a pretty like one shadow look kind of color. Isn't that beautiful? Maybe I'll keep this. Basically, I don't need to keep both of these. I can tell you that because they're so similar. So maybe I'll keep the Revlon one. This one's from Milani, also really good, but I don't wear warm tones as much. And so this is one I feel like I could easily pass on. I know one of my sisters would use this. So this is the Milani Most Wanted Palette in Burning Desire. I'll put that Revlon one in my maybe pile and we'll revisit the maybes at the very end and see. So I have a lot of ColourPop palettes here. I can't keep all of these. It's so hard because I don't even know which ones of these are still like around. I really liked the Wild Nothing palette. I think it's so pretty. Aren't those colors gorgeous? It makes me think of spring in the best way. So this is one I'm leaning towards keeping. This is, I don't even think they make it anymore. The double entendre palette is gorgeous. The blush crush is gorgeous. Going coconuts, you guys know I've loved for a long time. So I think I'm gonna keep the going coconuts because this is more cool tone than a lot of these. And I definitely prefer, I like their plastic packaging over like the paper. I think I'm gonna finally get rid of both of these, honestly, they're both so good, but I don't need this many ColourPop palettes. They're all so, so similar, you know? This is the Your Golden palette. I am realizing I've never even used. Isn't it pretty though? <laughs> and I know I'm not gonna swatch it. I know the, the quality is there. Let me think about this because I'm tempted to keep it, but I also like know, I think by the end of this, if I'm like keeping a decent amount, this is one I can easily pass on while it's new. So that'll be, be in my maybe and then I'm gonna keep 
the wild nothing for now because I really do think this is so beautiful. So, so far, in theory, only keeping two ColourPop palettes unless I keep that other one. I'm gonna rearrange a bit just to be able to fit in some of those other ones. We're sitting pretty now. So that is all the rest of the ones I need to go through. And then I have some singles over here we'll talk about in a sec. So the Naked Honey is is really good. But again, this is one I don't reach for as much. I wish I did, but I just, I just don't. But it is one of my favorite Naked palettes I've owned. But you know, like I might reach for these kinds of shades, but I have those in a million palettes. The shimmers, my favorite is HBIC here. But the rest of them, like these shimmers, I don't really reach for. So I'm like, it's not really worth keeping for that. And again, someone would be super excited to be using this. So I'm going to pass the Naked Honey on. Oh my gosh. By the way, I'm in my future baby's nursery right now because the lighting is so great in here <laughs> compared to like anywhere else in my house right this second. So anyways, uh, another keep is the Color Icon Nude Awakening Palette from Wet n Wild. This palette is so good. It's so good. It's one of my favorites from the drugstore. I use a lot of the shades from it, so that's an easy decision there. And on that vein, I'm also keeping the Walking on Eggshells little quint. Is that what they would call it? Again, it's just totally like colors I use every day. Love it. Good quality. So you may notice I have two of these. These Bare Minerals. Why did why was that so hard for me to say? Neutral palette. They've discontinued this. I have an old one and a new one. I bought it like on QVC, and I think you can still get it. This is like... Honestly, you guys, my number one eyeshadow palette. Like I use this more than I use anything else. I use every shade in it. So there's just something about it. So if you can still get your hands on it, go for it. <laughs> there's a part of me that's thinking about buying like a backup of this, even though I literally just bought this one. See, I'm like, do I keep the old one just in case as well? Maybe. You know what I mean? Like if something happened, I don't know. I think I can get rid of the old one. I'll keep the new one and just move on. But I, I really, really love this. I wish they wouldn't have discontinued it. I will never understand. And they're new palettes from Bare Minerals. Actually, I don't even have them in here because I've already like, I think mentally decluttered them. So I had them in a different bin. The new ones, their Minerals palettes are awful. <laughs> like, please Bare Minerals, bring them back. What a mistake you were making. I'm gonna get rid of the old Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. This one is awesome, but I have that new one and I don't even think they sell this version anymore. I am also gonna get rid of this Revlon So Fierce. So this is another one like the other one I kept. I think the quality of these is really good, but I, these are definitely shades I don't use very often. So I have these two Makeup by Mario quads. I know out of the two of these, this is the Rosy Glam. I definitely don't use this. Like I think I've maybe swatched it once. So gonna pass that on, donate. This one, however, I think if I didn't have so many darn eyeshadow palettes, I would actually reach for this. So I think I'm gonna keep it and see if I use it in the next few months because I liked the quality of this. I just opened my drawer and I'm so overwhelmed, I don't reach for it. So I also have two Makeup by Mario palettes, the Master Mattes, and oh yeah, this one. If you saw my video trying this like a year ago, this really blew me away, the way it looked on the eye. I just have to actually do it, but you mix like a mixing medium with this. It makes the most beautiful cream shadow. And I think I am gonna keep it because if I were to ever go for like a little bit of blue, I think I would like to use this version because I know it doesn't budge, it doesn't crease and it's so beautiful. And I obviously like that one. So I'm actually gonna keep this, which is kind of surprising me, but I wanna at least have an option for something slightly fun for me. So keeping that, and I'm gonna keep the matte palette because these blend like a freaking dream, like unbelievable, never, ever, ever patchy. And I don't use every shade in it. I just use a few of them, but it's worth keeping. It's that good. So definitely keeping. I don't think I have another matte palette like this in my collection anyway. So one of my favorites is this e.l.f. little <laughs> bite-sized quad in uh, rose water. This is my favorite. I thought I still had them, but maybe I did get rid of them and declutter them. I had, oh, I know like one or two of them shattered. Maybe that was it. I had one of their more neutral ones and I'm pretty sure it shattered. It was cream and sugar. This is my favorite anyway. I just use this like pinkish shade all over the lid and then kind of blend with those. I can use that for liner and it's so pretty. And these are like freaking $3. And another really amazing little cheaper option, but like really good shadow quality is from Essence. This is the Coral Me Maybe one. They just released a more neutral one. I'm definitely, it's already in my Ulta cart because these are so inexpensive and so, so good. And I love, Again, they've got like a mirror, nice 
packaging that like closes tight. These are the things that matter to me. And so love this, definitely keeping, and I'm definitely gonna get that new one when it comes out. I think it might be time to get rid of this XX Revolution quad. It's getting some weird, let me see if you can see it in this top one there, right there. It's getting some weird stuff on it. And I'm like, hmm. But this was a palette I absolutely love. It's a dupe for a Charlotte Tilbury one I'll show you. And it totally is. So I would say it's still worth buying and the packaging's really like luxe. It's got like this, isn't that pretty? But mine is getting old and I uh, I don't trust it. <laughs> Another dupe for this quad I'll talk about is from Flower Beauty. And I really, really like this. Definitely going to keep. I just used this the other day. It's their Petal Play Shadow Quad in Gilded Lily. Love this one. And again, really pretty packaging. I think I'm finally going to get rid of this. This is the NARS Skin Deep Palette. They haven't sold this in forever. So I know that this one is really, really old. And no one can get their hands on it. And so I haven't reached for it in a long time. Love the palette in general, but I, I hate that nearly all NARS products are limited edition. I'm like, can we just release like eyeshadow palettes that are going to stick around? So if I buy it and love it, I can rebuy it and or share it with people in my life that I think would like, you know what I mean? Like every eyeshadow palette and blush palette they release is always limited edition nowadays and it just sucks. I understand why they do it, but I hate it. <laughs> but another limited edition palette I will never get rid of is this little MAC quad. I've had it a while, but it, it's still performing perfectly. It's this like Kabuki doll shadow. These are like the most beautiful shadows ever. I use it all the time. I've traveled with it a lot. I love it. I wish you could get this all the time. I think I'm finally going to get rid of these Inglot shadows. I bought them a few years ago in, I think Ireland actually. And I thought it would be a good, I don't know what I was thinking picking these colors. Cause you pick this and I, I just don't know what I was thinking really. So that's just going to go. It's got to go. Every time I look at it, I'm like, Jessica, what the heck? <laughs> this is another like single shadow thing I made with makeup for, well, not with them, but like from the brand, you know, you can buy them individually and I really, really like it. But this one, I keep getting hard pan on. So I keep having to scrape. That's a little bit bronzier than I typically like. So kind of on the fence. I think it might be time. I think I might just get rid of it. I want to like maybe someday and maybe I'll just keep the actual container. But see, again, I'm like, I'd rather donate this so someone can actually use it. But I was thinking maybe I keep the container and just get different shadows. Because really the only one in this I really, really enjoy and use at this point are like <laughs> those two right there. <laughs> like that's it. So maybe get four different ones. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I need to be a little more cut through here because I'm looking at my piles and I'm, I, I don't know. I just feel like I'm still keeping a lot, which is fine. I, I talk about makeup, review makeup here on my channel a lot. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I, I just feel like I'm still going to have a bunch of stuff that when I open the drawer, I get that feeling of overwhelm and then I just don't reach for anything. <laughs> so these I'm going to get rid of because you know what? I've had them for like over six months and I have not felt the need to reach for them. I don't even think I've swatched them. So I'd rather donate them new. This is from Rare Beauty. This is the Time to Myself eyeshadow palette. Really pretty. I mean, there's a reason I just haven't reached for it. You know what I mean? Is this the exact same thing? You guys, I didn't even realize I had two of the exact same palette in there. Passing on. You guys are going to die when I tell you this. You guys know I've loved the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette forever. This one is so old though. Look how dusty. You can see my fingerprints. <laughs> like, I mean like literally like dust. Wow. I've loved this for so long. It is so well loved, but it's super old. You know, I spilled coffee on it long ago, <laughs> like just on it. So I think it's time. I would consider buying this again in the future if I were wanting a big palette because this is truly an incredible, incredible palette. The quality is amazing. I want to see if Violet Foss makes any like small like quads or anything because I would totally consider it because I love the formula. Sultry palette, same thing. This one is so old. It really, really is. I've had it for a long time. I've loved it for a long time, but I think it might be time to, uh, time to say goodbye. I was going to sing, but I didn't know what song I was singing. <laughs> Tati Beauty palette. I don't find myself reaching for just because again, it's such a big palette. I find it hard to get rid of though, cause I feel like it, I don't, isn't she not doing her brand anymore? So I feel like you won't even be able to get it, you know? I might hold on to that for nostalgia's sake and maybe still use it from time to time. We shall see. All right, I have three different Charlotte Tilbury quads here. Oh, okay, so this is my old Charlotte Tilbury quad in Pillow Talk. This is the one I'm, I was talking about dupes for cause it's my favorite. Gonna keep the new one, get rid of the old one. This was clearly my favorite shade, obviously. These are so beautiful, but I, I certainly don't need both. So I'll keep the new, 
rid of the old. This one is really pretty. I don't know that I would say people need to go out and buy it though. Same brand, but it's the Flawless Eye Filter in Star Aura. These are just really pretty shimmers. They really are. And that's why I've kind of kept it. So I'm going to hold on to this because I, I do use them. All right. So continuing on, I still love my M Cosmetics, this little palette in Divine Skies. Truly one of my top couple palettes of all time ever. I, I just love it so much. So definite keep. I've also really enjoyed the Tartlet Juicy palette. You guys know it's definitely more of like a pink palette, but I just adore this. I love the quality. I think the packaging is cute. So keeping, I got this in PR and I, th that is incredible to me. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. I think I'm going to keep because I've only played with a couple of the shades and it was really good. And you guys know, I obviously like the eyeshadow formula, but I don't know. I find myself not reaching for it as much as I think that I thought I would. So I want to mess with it for a couple more months. And if I'm still not reaching for it a ton, I might pass it on. I'm going to pass on this ColourPop quad. I think it's really good, but again, I just don't reach for it a lot. I have these colors in a million different palettes and quads. So I'm going to pass this on, but this is in the, it's called Sorbet. The other one, I had another one of these, and again, it also shattered. These shadows, especially the shimmers, are really, really soft. This is the NARS palette in Suede. I still love this, so definitely going to keep. This is a very well-loved palette. All right, continuing on, this Naked 3, I was all excited about when I first got it, and it wasn't that long ago that I got it, but I just don't use it. I feel like the shades are too close together, which is funny coming from someone that like actually usually just wears one eyeshadow if I am doing it. <laughs> But I don't know. I just kind of find myself being like, meh, about it, even though the quality, I mean, the shadows are fine. So I know a sister that wears very light makeup. I have obviously quite a few sisters uh, that I know would be excited about this. This one, same thing. This is the Smashbox Cover Shop Palette in Golden Hour. The colors just seem so like boring to me, the neutral boring queen, you know, like, but even that, like all of these look almost exactly the same. So see, I guess I'm saying that, but now I'm thinking about my Charlotte Tilbury one that I, I actually love. And if you really look at it now, I want to kind of compare It's kind of a similar vibe, but I obviously use this way more. So I'm going to pass this one on while it's still pretty new too. these little trios. I love this. <laughs> this one took me by surprise. Smashbox little trio in showmance. I talked about in a recent video that I was going to declutter. And then when I actually used it on camera, I was like, wait a minute. I loved the way this made my eyes look. So it's definitely a little more dramatic of an eye look for me because I put like that in the outer corner, that in the crease and that on the lid. It was so pretty. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep this. And then I love this trio from Kaja. It's their little chocolate Dahlia trio. And so it literally has three different shades, like a little, isn't that cute? I always like the look I get with it and I love the packaging. I think that's so cute. I think I'm going to pass this on. It's good, but I don't reach for it. The Maybelline Quad and Sunlit Bronze. It's just a good one at the drugstore. But again, I have these shades a million times over. I'm going to keep this because it's still kind of newer to me. The CoverGirl True Naked Heat. I obviously don't use these colors a ton, but the quality of this so surprised me. And I just, I really liked it. So I'm going to keep this for now and see if I continue to use it some more. Y'all know I like the Natasha Denota Glam Palette. It's definitely more of like a cool toned palette, but I like that. And I only have a couple of cool toned options. So it's nice to have. And the quality, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So this is definitely one of my splurgier palettes, but I really like it. Now we've got these little Charlotte Tilbury ones. So let me open all these. I might have two of the same one because I know, oh, that's my favorite right there. So... These are exactly the same. <laughs> so I'm going to pass on the one that I've barely used. I think I'd like swatch this one, maybe donate it. But then these are the two I'm going to keep. So this is in Darling. You guys know this is one of my like all time favorite palettes ever. I love using just this shade. I'm going to hit pan on it soon all over the lid and that's it. It's so beautiful. And then this is the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. And these are like the butteriest matte shadows, especially these right here. So pretty. So going to keep both of those. I am working on a Charlotte Tilbury like upcoming video on the best and worst from the brand. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. That's coming very, very soon. I think it just might be time to pass all of these on you guys. Um, it makes me sad, but all of these single shadows are so, I couldn't even tell you seven, eight, nine years old. Like I was saying at the beginning. So these are shadows I still use from time to time. So I think I'll keep these. This, some of these are max, some of them are not, but like I've traveled with this little quad because they're just super neutral shadows that I actually use. And I think 
It's crazy. I'm going to take these and get rid of them all. I never thought I'd see the day, but I keep passing them on and passing them on through declutters over the years and I really don't use them. So there we go. Wow. So we've still got our maybes to contend with. I think I can pass this one on based on the amount of like warmer tone palettes I am keeping. I don't think I need that. This one just, I don't know. Like I said, the quality is not as good as the other. So I think I'm gonna pass this on too while it's still new to someone that'll be super jazzed to use it. The ColourPop, you're golden. If I haven't used it yet, I'm gonna pass it on. And the Tati one I was gonna keep for nostalgia's sake, I'm still a little torn about. The quality's there, it doesn't matter, you can't buy it. <laughs> and so with me in limited edition, I always just feel so, I think I'm gonna hold on to it. I think I'm gonna hold on to it. Well, we're ending the video in here. <laughs> I'm just giggling at all our toys. This is not done, but this little, um, storage thing for toys i just got on amazon and holy moly it is so much better than what i used to use i used to have just like a big toy box and everything was just shoved in it for genevieve and it was awful like things it just everything would just sat in there and only the toys on top got played with and there were tiny pieces everywhere in there so nice to have it compartmentalized but some of these toys we might still get rid of and then some of them are missing pieces so they might just get gone but anyway oh I, well i guess i should show you huh i'll show you what i'm getting rid of and what we're keeping i actually feel really good about this this is one of my better declutters for sure so this is everything we're getting rid of you guys that is a lot that is easily more than half of my collection and again things that i've really been holding on to for a long time like my single shadows you know i don't know what else to say colors that aren't working for me like this one ones that i just don't reach for ones that are just super old ones that have been discontinued for a very long time brand new ones that i can donate new that i clearly just haven't had a desire like if i haven't used it yet at this point it's time for it to go so I feel really, really good about what is leaving my collection. And then this is what I'm keeping. Again, same thing. I feel really good about everything I'm keeping. These are all things I enjoy and use. I like them all. And I'm excited now, like a few of them that I felt like kind of got lost in the shuffle, I now might actually reach for. Like the Makeup by Mario ones. I totally forgot I had these. And like this quad especially is so pretty. Totally forgot I had it. So I'm excited to be able to like actually see the things that I own and actually use them and enjoy them. So this is a great feeling. I just counted. We are getting rid of 33 and keeping 31. So I really did pretty much cut my collection in half. Now the reality is I counted like each of these as one separate palette, which I mean, I, I think you, I could have, I guess I could have counted each single shadow, but I think that'd be a little ridiculous. So anyway, yeah, getting rid of 50% of my collection. That feels so good. You guys know I do these declutters for myself. I mean, really just because I know that like a lot of us, when you have too much, you just get that feeling of overwhelm like I talked about. But I think it's good to do this, to kind of clean house and to really look at what you have. If you have a large collection of anything, maybe your thing isn't makeup, although if you're watching this, it's probably makeup. <laughs> you probably have a lot of makeup. But with anything, like kitchen gadgets, um, coffee mugs, that's another one of my things. Those aren't going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I hope this is enjoyable. Again, if you want to watch more of my new declutter series here in 2022, I have done foundations. That was one I did a couple of weeks ago. I'll link that below. I also just recently did concealers the month before. So again, I feel like with both of those, I pretty much cut my collection in half. And of course, you're getting mini reviews of a lot of products within those videos too. So I find them really fun. But I also have a playlist of all the declutters I've ever done ever, ever. <laughs> so I'll link that playlist too if you want to just keep binging through a bunch of them, see what products I've owned over the years. <laughs> it's like a trip down memory lane. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, subscribe whether you like declutter videos. I've got more of those coming, as I mentioned earlier. Whether you like vlogs, I'm doing those kind of one a week-ish because I've just really been into vlogging lately. It's just been enjoyable to me. And then of course I talk about makeup and kitchen favorites and cooking and all kinds of stuff. So I'd love to have you join our family by subscribing and that will make sure that any new videos that I post will go into your subscription feed and be recommended to you so you can catch more of them. So I think that is all. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye guys.